Peritonitis, periodontal disease, is not like other infections. First of all, you cannot cure it. It's impossible. Nor can you, and so when you look at the flora, I compare it sort of with the flora of the gut. You don't try to sterilize the flora in the gut. Why would you sterilize the flora in the mouth? So what has occurred is, is that someone wants to just write out a prescription, just like an internist, want to write out a prescription every time you see periodontitis. And the bottom line is that even if you give an antibiotic, it will not eradicate the disease. I, I've never seen it in a risk patient. I've never seen it happen. So therefore, if you do that, all you're creating is antibiotic resistance. And if you look at us in Perio, we started out with tetracycline, then we, you know, we then moved into amoxicillins and augmentins, and now we're talking about cephalosporins. The same thing as when you see ear infections with children. So the bottom line is this, it's time to look at something at a local level and not enhance the the resistance of antibiotics when we may need them for some real medical issue. So that is why we are think considering. If you look at a perio tray, it's able to locally deliver an antimicrobial to particular sites without affecting the rest of the body. If you somewhat look at probiotics, oral probiotics, you're changing the flora without killing everything. If you look at lasers, especially their ability to do curatage, almost like a wound healing thing, then these are adjunctive local areas that can reverse things. So therefore, in a decision tree, in being very candid and looking at the science, the only time that most of us periodontists, and should be for all general practitioners, whatever, in a decision tree, the only time we ever suggest systemic antibiotics are with patients that basically have what we call aggressive, old term, aggressive periodontal disease. And that is um, puberty uh, periodontitis, uh, pre-puberty periodontitis, um, old terms, local, general, especially general juvenile periodontitis, refractory periodontitis, rapidly advancing periodontitis. What are these patients? Younger age, nothing on the roots, no calculus, suppuration in many pocket depths, um, scenarios by which mobility, but high, fairly high risk patients. Those are the only patients that we ever consider utilizing systemic antibiotics. But even in those patients, we not only utilize systemic antibiotics, but the maintenance of those patients can be highly valued if one also utilizes a periotrase also with the 1.7% hydroperoxide.